I've got a brand new pit. I bought myself a gateway. This is not a sponsored video, so you know I bought and paid for every last red cent of this. And I actually ordered everything that possibly comes with it. I didn't do that all at one time. Let me do a little walk around here and show you real quick. Then we're gonna do a burn in. I'm gonna do like a two and a half pound small port butt just to try this thing out. But we're gonna burn it in for at least a good hour first. Man, ain't she a beauty. That is what they call royal blue. I just love that color. You can get these in like four different colors. You can customize these. They can put flames on them. They can do all sorts of things. Now it comes with this logo plate. I didn't know if it did or didn't until I actually got it and it did. Now they can uh, take your artwork and they can make you a decal. This is not a decal. And today is gonna tell me how this holds up. You got the you got a solid inch and a half air gap here, so this shouldn't get too hot. But all this is for anybody that owns one of these gateways and want a cheap way of doing this, it's just a refrigerator magnet. Works like a charm. So let me show you um, around the back side. All right, so I'm calling this the back of the pit facing the pit master it's got the uh, gateway logo it's got a thermometer these are your bottom vents and uh, this is how you adjust them there's two of them that's for your intake so if you notice this adapter looks different it's not painted that's because it did not come with this pit I removed the one that came with the pit and I can do this manually or I can use an air controller and that's exactly what I got here swear to God, the day I ordered this pit, this company reached out to me. They're out of uh, Australia. And anyway, I got to looking at their, their product and it really intrigued me. I've already got an air controller. And the thing about this one is, is that there is no, there is no hand control where you got to set everything. Your app on your phone talks to this. It's just this and an app and that's all it is. And this will set your pit according to what you got it set to on the app. This will run and maintain the fire. So I'm really excited about trying this out today as well. Uh, smart fire. I do not have a pro port on this pit. It doesn't come with one. But what I'm thinking about doing is coming right in here and drilling me out a small hole. And if I can find the grommet that I need, I know smart fire makes a grommet. It didn't come with this set but it's got like a one eighth hole that you can feed your uh, probes in there with. So I'm gonna be on the lookout for that. For now, I'm gonna do what they don't recommend and that's just taking the wires and going over the top. They don't recommend that for the mere fact you can pinch and uh, actually ruin your probe, but I have no choice today. I mean, I could go through the top vent, which is right here. I could go through there, but taking the lid on and off is gonna be a challenge. So we're not gonna do that either. All right, let me show you the inside. I've already removed the lid, as you can see. I've got everything you can possibly get for this drum. This is a rib hanger, all stainless steel. I've got two grates. You gotta take the label off of that one. Here's a second grate. And the reason I wanted two grates is, you know, if you got a really large cook, you can actually cook on two different levels. Now what you're looking at here is the deflector plate or diffuser plate. And that is recommended when using two grates to keep the heat the same from here to here. And uh, it also, if you're gonna do a low and slow, it would aid in that. And you can also put a water pan on this second grate. Now below that, and you'll be seeing this in action soon, is the fire basket. It comes with hooks. There's a little instruction booklet. And as you can see, outside of the fire basket is a um, heat shield. That's to help protect the paint on the drum itself. All brand new construction. This is not no second hand drum. These are manufactured by Gateway. So this is a 55 gallon drum. I've got the pit barrel cooker, it's 30 gallons. This is almost twice the capacity, a whole lot taller, a whole lot bigger around, will hold a lot of food. And the thing about a drum is that it probably comes closer to delivering like good Southern authentic barbecue 
probably more than just about any pit out there. This is the real deal and I'm just super stoked. I've been wanting one of these for a couple of years, finally pulled the trigger on it. Like I said, this is not a sponsored video by Gateway, but uh, I'm just proud of it and want to show it to you. I'm going to take some Pam, some cooking spray. I'm going to coat the entire inside. I'm going to do the fire basket. I'm going to do anything that's metal that can rust. And we're going to put a, uh, a whole load of lump chalk on here. We're going to run it about 300 degrees for the first hour. And we're going to season this pit. Now the grates obviously aren't going to be seasoned. And the stainless steel rib hanger is not going to be seasoned. No reason to do that. But anything else is going to get coated. So again, this smart fire, one thing I failed to mention earlier is that it runs off a of USB power, you know, like a battery pack. This is something I ordered off of Amazon. This is what I charge my cell phone with. It's running this fan and it will run it a very, very, very long time. Unlike the other brand that I have, it has a 12 volt adapter that you have to plug into an extension cord. So what's good about this i can take it away from the house somewhere and i still got power to run this fan i'm, I'm really digging this and speaking of taking this off site next weekend i'm going to be helping out maggie farms out of alabama we're going to be at the shed barbecue here in ocean springs mississippi and i'm bringing the drum with me so here is the app for the smart fire man it just don't get no easier than this by the way this is a variable speed fan if you can see right here it says fan well, it just cut off, but it was running at 80%. I'm getting real close to my target of 300. It's got a graph on there. You can see when the fan started adjusting itself right here about 275 degrees, and we're at 292 right now. So I'm anxious to see what happens at 300, how well it's gonna maintain it. Tell you what, this smart fire air controller is working like a champ. At first, I was getting about a five degree swing up and five below right in that range right there. And you can look at this graph and tell which five degrees either way isn't bad. Now I'm getting like a two degree swing. It's really got it leveled out. It'll hit 300, 302, then it'll start coming down like uh, 298, right in that range. I don't know if I mentioned it, it's Bluetooth and it's also Wi-Fi. And right now I, I am on Wi-Fi. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, what I've done is I took and I put two little small pieces of hickory in here I mean small ones a drum smoker doesn't require a lot of you know like big chunks it, you'll over smoky meat just a little bit goes a long way I did put the diffuser plate in here mainly so I could season it everything else has been going for about an hour so I'm gonna go ahead and season this little port butt this is a two I think it was two point six three a little over two and a half pound port butt very small just right for me and my wife and what i'm going to season it with is this blue hogs original all-purpose now i want to thank russ ham if you're watching russ thank you russ sent me out this rub and he also sent me out four of the blue hogs barbecue sauces every one that they make and I, as a matter of fact, we're gonna be using what he recommends. He says, take the original barbecue sauce, the blue, and mix it with the red 50-50. That's what we're gonna be doing. I'm, I'll show you another product I'm putting in that later to make kind of a glaze out of it. But for right now, let's just go ahead and apply the seasoning. I'm just gonna coat this good. I'm not using a binder. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this meat on here. We got a good smoke rolling. Small pork butt, but this is heritage hog. Should be really good. And we are cooking. All right, we're gonna take a look. We've been going, let's see, it's, uh, we've been going about three hours and I have been misting this about once an hour. A little spritz, nothing but water. Very small butt. Like I said, this thing started off at about two and a half pounds. It's probably going to be about a pound and a half by the time it's done. 
but I've had it in the freezer, didn't really know what to do with it. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna do the burn in on this. Today would be a really good day to take care of that little butt. It'll make for a good, maybe four sandwiches. So since that last clip, I hit the stall. As small as that roast is, I did hit a stall somewhere around 155 degrees. So I went ahead and wrapped it. Now we are up to 202 degrees. I'm gonna unwrap it, I'm gonna put it in a pan, and we're gonna sauce it. Now what I've done is over here, I've got a measuring cup. I put, this is the uh, Blues Hog Tennessee Red Sauce. Now I put half a cup of this. This is what Russ Helm recommend, recommended me to do. And here is their original. This is Blues Hog Original. These sauces are fantastic. Mix that up, super fantastic. Man, you wouldn't lie on Russ. Now hang on. In addition to that, I took some of this Fire Bee. This is a pepper infused honey, even has ghost pepper. It's got a nice little burn on the back end, but it's not gonna light you on fire. Super good taste. It's got a really good sweet heat to it. So I added two tablespoons in with the one cup of the sauces. And I'm here to tell you, it's fantastic. So I'm gonna remove the lid. Ooh, boy, that's smelling good. Go ahead and remove our probes. We are done with the probes. We are done with the air controller as well. And it has done a fantastic job. It has just been riding and hanging in there all day. So let me put this in this pan. We'll uh, reveal it and we'll sauce it up. So there we go. There's my little pork butt. Don't it look good? And here is the two Blues Hog sauces I put together along with a Fire Bee Honey. I'll have links to that Fire Bee Honey in the description box. Thank you again, Russ, for sending those sauces out, man. That's fantastic. My first time ever trying it. I've heard for years how good they are. So all I'm wanting to do is just set this glaze on here. We're going to save the rest of this and uh, just to put on top of our sandwiches after I pull this pork. For the most part, we're just gonna let this rock for about 20 more minutes and get our heat back up. I know I done lost a lot of heat with this lid off. Get our heat back up and uh, let this sauce set on here. I've been going around 20 minutes since I glazed this meat, so we're going to take our top off, take a look. I'm gonna run a probe through this. That sure is pretty. All right, what I want to do is pull this off. We're just going to let it rest long enough to where I can shred this, and I'll be back in a few minutes, and we're going to do a taste test. Well, we got it all shredded up, got it inside. It got completely dark on us. I did have some outside lighting, but I figured it looked a little bit better in here. So here's the pull port. This is a really small pull port. Like I said, started off at right at two and a half pounds, so I don't know what we got there. Probably about a pound and a half, if I had to guess. We're just going to top some of this meat on top of there. Got a nice smoke ring. All right, I'm going to hold with that right there. All right, this is the remainder of that sauce. It's got the two different Blue Hogs barbecue along with the, the honey. The fire bee. Ooh, that looks good. All right, it's time to give this a try. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's been a while since I've had pulled pork. I used to keep it. Used to keep some in the freezer. Do a big one, vacuum seal, and freeze the remainders of it. Man, that's good. That sauce is killer. Thank you again, Russ. I appreciate that. Fantastic sauce. It's got a mix of the two. One is a thin sauce and one is kind of a thicker sauce. And you got a little vinegar taste. You got some sweet and that honey added that kick in there for sure, but it's not too much. It's really good. The pork turned out fantastic. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. You'll be seeing a lot more of the Gateway Drum, my new toy. So until next time, smoke your ribs.